Zaniacs. I am Lainey. I am Marshall. Today we're going to talk about a classic book that I actually have never read before until now, and that is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Uh, when I was doing Bookopoly for this role, I had to do a classic book. I had this one on Audible for a while because it's one of my husband's favorite book in terms of how imagery is described. And I had never read it, so I was like, you know what, I gotta, I guess I gotta. Because people rave about how good this book is and how much they love it. And I didn't really understand why. I've seen the movie. I thought it was fine. <laughs> you know? Uh, but I wanted to at least give it a chance. And if you don't know what this story is about, it is about a guy who comes to live on the land, I think it's on the land or nearby the land of Gatsby. Uh, who is this like party man, uh, everyone loves him kind of guy. Um, and he gets caught up in this world that Gatsby creates of society and, you know, the lavish parties that last for a long time. And I believe the main character's cousin, Daisy, she's in a really bad marriage. And so she takes up with Gatsby. And her husband is also having an affair on his side, so it's not like they're either one of them are very like committed. Um, but uh, things happen, things happen, and then things happen. And then if you don't know the ending to Great Gatsby, I'm not going to tell you the ending. But you know, it's not the happiest of stories, really. In the end, it paints itself as this. Party time! Party, party yeah. book! But then you get to I the end and you're like, inside. oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I read this story. Right? Yeah, okay. I, I read this story back when I was in high school. Um, yeah, uh, I'm kind of with you. Um, it was not my favorite book back then either. I mean, I, I got the plot, but I was like, so what? Uh, what's the point? Get, get to what's the point? I kept on expecting it to turn into something like the Count of Monte Cristo. Oh yeah, I can see why you would think that. I thought it was written beautifully. I mean, everyone's right about that. It was written gorgeously. Two times where I actually got so far lost in the imagery that I couldn't remember what was happening in the book. That was also my problem. Yeah. But it's beautiful. Yeah. It's a beautiful book. And I'm really glad that we actually do own a copy because I feel like it could be one of those books that I could try to read again and grow to love it. I mean, I, I tend to like things like this. Like, my, my favorite movies are like Gosford Park that I could, re like, I could watch that movie so many times, find different things in that movie that I had never seen before or heard before because of how it's written and I feel like Great Gatsby could probably be the same way because there's things you miss every time you read yeah. it. So I gave it four stars <laughs> even even if I wasn't like the best like yes about it but I feel like I could be at some point. Yeah back when I read it I probably gave it like three <clears throat> stars it is well it's beautifully written but I don't I didn't feel like it resonated with me at all. The yeah. movie does a little bit better of a job. Yeah, I also have Tender as the Night by by the same author. I might read that one at some point too, just to see how it differs because not a lot of people talk about Tender as the Night. So, yeah, okay. yeah. So thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay zany. Bye bye.